on the Patriot thing, all right? I'm sorry, I, I, and I didn't want to be this guy. I really didn't because I really bought and still kind of buy into the greatness of the Patriots because I still think Tom Brady is a great quarterback. I still think Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. But I'm sorry, with all of these scandals, how can there not be a yeah, but? Like, there's going to be a yeah, yeah but. but. Now, every time we bring up the Patriots and their greatness and how they did something that wasn't supposed to happen in football anymore, the salary cap was supposed to stop dynasties, then it's always going to be a yeah, but Spygate. Yeah, but Deflategate. Yeah, but uh, um, Spygate 2. And, and you know, great job by Fox to get this stuff, okay? Jay Glazer, tremendous job to land the video. So I was looking at the comments on Twitter, and I don't know if they're Patriot fans or they're like Steve Young that just don't want to, to just think that everything we saw over the last 20 years is Fugazi. Oh, what can you really see from the sidelines? Give me a break. I could buy a ticket and see the same thing this video has. You just heard Steve Young say it. It's cheating. They can use that information to help them win. And if they did it against a 1-13 in football team, that means they do it every single week. I'm sorry. You can't get up from it. Doesn't mean that the quarterback isn't great. Doesn't mean that the head coach isn't great. But is it just simple coincidence that they're the only team, probably in sports, that has won as much as they have over the last 20 years, have been able to figure out in a salary cap sport to be able to continue to win eight straight championship game appearances, six titles? Sorry. That, oh, by the way, they're involved in three cheating scandals in that time? It's more than just a coincidence. I'm sorry. How do you get up from that? The Patriot fans can ignore it. Oh, come on, Don. You're, you're just jealous. We're still great. Explain it. Nobody else has been involved in these scandals. I, I am with you 100%. I, I hate that we are in New York where it's so expected that we would want to tear down the Patriots and that we have to tear down the Patriots. But at this point, the only way you could defend the Patriots is if you're a fan. It's the only way. You, it cannot be coincidental that it is an unprecedented run of dominance that we've never seen in the history of any major sport, and they also have these things over and over again? Who is the genius of the New England Patriots, Peter? Bill Belichick. All right. This is the other thing that drives me up a wall, that they were rogue, that Bill didn't know about it. Who do you think gets this information and twists it around into wins? It's Bill Belichick. Yeah, because the part about him being a genius is true. But, but, but who, that who, part is true. Who would, get the information? who would get the information? Of course it's him. What, there's some analytics department not related to him? I mean, come on. There's the plausible deniability always where it's, hey, guys, do what you can to get information. Wink. You don't know me. Wink. Let's hear what it sounds like. Oh this my is God. from Fox. This was the exclusive video Jay Glazer played yesterday during the pregame. This is when the Patriots videographer was caught by the Bengals staff. But I can delete this right here for you. <laughs> Damage is done, my friend. No, it isn't, because we delete it. Hold on, by the way, do you really have to have the Boston accent? Are you kidding me? But I can delete this right here for you. <laughs> it's really... Are you serious? I, it, it, you I can can't delete make it this up. right here. You, you I can't. can delete this right here, pal. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't gotta do nothing about this, all right? How you like them apples? Are you, are you? By the way, though, let me just say this, because Patriots fans are obnoxious, and I apologize to Patriots fans and my family who I love. How much does it stink to be hanging your hat on this all-time run. And by the way, if I sound bitter and pathetic, because my team, let's say, let's suppose in 2007 when the Patriots were, that was the 18-0, right? 07. Yeah. Okay. So let's suppose my team maybe played your team, and you guys decided to leave your starters in and continue to score into the fourth quarter, and I believe the final score is 52-7. to Am I bitter about that? Absolutely I am. However... Man, does it take the starch out of all that history when this Ooh. happens over and over again. And you have some yo-yo in a Patriot shirt getting busted with a camera. By the way, can I tell you something? You know the stadium holds 50,000 people, right? You know you could have any random person sitting anywhere in the stadium zoom in with their iPhone. How do you get busted using an actual...
actual camera with cards. Just have it, someone stand there with their cell phone you, to be that much of a cheater and cheat so poorly. Yeah, and I can't imagine, oh, it's just a hiccup. Uh, for this organization, as buttoned oh, up as stop. they are, come on, please. And this is coming from somebody that, I, that is a fan of a team that actually beat them twice in the Super Bowl. Yeah, you wrong got, is wrong. Yeah, by the wrong way, you got, wrong. The, if you're a Giants fan, you don't even need to tear down the Patriots. You already tore them down both times but, you played. But wrong is wrong. Of course. And this, this is getting a little ridiculous here, but this whole idea, well, Bill Belichick didn't know, but he's the one that can gather that information and spin it into something because he's a genius. He's a mad scientist. But you know, also, he's got a problem because they've already got busted twice for other scandals, including Belichick himself for Spygate. You're this brazen? To, to, to try to get an inside track to beat the 1 in 12 Bengals? I'm sorry, man. That's just bad. And you know what? The NFL's got to do something about it, man, because they spin your face. It's, it's true. Because they've been involved in scandals, been suspended, fined, draft picks taken away, and they're still doing it. So right now, Major League Baseball and the NFL, they both are going to be competing on what they're going to do with their cheaters. And you got to do something because obviously there are teams that feel like I can cheat because at the end of the day, with the championship I can win and with the money that I can get, it doesn't matter what you do to me. Take my draft picks away. Take, find me. Suspend me. It doesn't matter. It's not going to stop me from doing it. So these sports have to come up with something to stop these crazy people from doing this. They're cheating. It's like they're fifth graders on a math test. My God. But I'm sorry. I, I listen. And Belichick is a genius. I give you that. I mean, he helped my team win two Super Bowls as the defensive coordinator, okay? But I'm sorry. It's a yeah, but. Bill Belichick's a genius. Yeah, but. Look at the cheating. Patriots, what a great dynasty. Yeah, but. Look at the scandals. No wonder they never fumbled for seven straight years. They were deflating the footballs. No wonder they go to the championship game every year. They got inside information. And I dare you, right now, walk into a 7-Eleven, steal something. And then when the cops get you, say, I'll put it back and see if that's going to get you off. The fact that they were going to delete the video means nothing. It's too late. You videoed it. Well, we'll delete it. We'll I'm delete sorry, it. officer. I'll give it back. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, the 98.7 ESPN New York.